my name is Amin Suyono. Today I would like to talk about the first day of placement. Flourishing of the newly hatched chick is largely dependent on how quickly and efficiently the transition is made from the hatcher to the farm environment. The brooding period starts 48 hours before chick arrival when preheating takes place. The preheating target for the concrete pad is 28 degrees centigrade. Heater is 32 degrees centigrade and room temperature is 33 degrees centigrade. Make sure there is good hose insulation to maintain the heat. Pan should be run in minimum ventilation. Before unloading chicks at the farm, the floor and ambient temperature should be verified again. Feed and water should be available and reachable in the brooding chamber before chick arrival. Only feed and water intake is very important for chicks recovery and growth. Additionally, paper that covers 50% of brooding area that also has feed will increase the feeder space to have the feed intake. During the receiving process, verify the box identification to ensure that male and female chicks are placed in the correct pen and house. All boxes should be placed in the brooding area so that chicks are evenly distributed from the first moment of placement. In PS or GP flock, you may need to recalculate the number of chicks per box. Do it quickly and efficiently so there is not much delay in placement. Ideally, chicks unloading should be quick and efficient to minimize exposure to external weather conditions that may result in the thermal stress for the chicks. Once boxes are distributed, begin at the back of the brooding area and place chicks by hand in a careful and calm manner as you move toward the front of the hose. Farm staff must gently and securely place the chicks and the drop head should be no greater than 15 cm. Top provides temperature guideline based on 60% relative humidity. From the first through the third day, the floor temperature should be 31 degrees centigrade. If humidity is greater than 60%, temperature should be set lower and vice versa. However, don't rely on temperature setup only. Observe the chick behavior to ensure they are in their comfort zone. Check chicks 2 hours after placement once they have a time to settle. If you observe chick panting, huddling, chirping loudly or irregularly distributed within the brood area, investigate the cause immediately. If not corrected, these irregularities can negatively impact flock welfare and performance outcomes. If the temperature is too cold, chick will be noisy and huddle under the brooder. If the temperature is too hot, chick will be drowsy and spread around the perimeter. If the brooding chamber is too drafty, chicks will be huddled away from the draft. When the temperature is just right, chicks will be constantly chipping and spread evenly. Chick distribution and behavior should be closely monitored after placement and within the first 24 to 48 hours of brooding. It is normal to see some chicks sleeping, some chicks eating or drinking, and some chicks actively exploring their new environment. Here is an example of comfortable chicks which are evenly distributed and active. Nipple drinkers should be operated from the first day of placement. The head of the nipple should be set at the level of chicks' eyes. However, it takes some time before chicks recognize nipple drinkers. To attract the chick to drink from the nipple, you can practice this. Hit the nipple line softly with a stick until the water drip appears in the tip of the nipple. Chick will see it and happily take the water from the nipple. How to evaluate our job during chick placement? If the placement is done correctly, at least 95% of chick will have crops filled with feed and water 24 hours after placement, ideally 100%. From day 1 through day 4, pen temperature should be 40 to 40.6 degrees centigrade, which would indicate that chicks are not overheated or too cool. The next indicator of a successful placement is the first week mortality, which should be less than 1%. And chicks should achieve the first week body weight target according to the breed or line. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please contact your local COP technical person or visit COP website at www.copfundress.com.